Let us continue with the second case. In the first case, we looked at the setting where, or the situation where you solved only few tables. Now we are looking at the setting where you already solved many tables, which means that you are better off when you get the piece rate than when you get the fixed payment. This is also, so we will first try to come up with a formulation of the utility function. And this might actually be a good point in time to pause the video and try to come up with the utility function on your own. Okay, now, now let us go through the utility function again. As before, this part of the utility function just reflects the expected payoff and the costs you have to cover. Now, we will again start with the two reference points. We'll first look at the case where you expected the piece rate to be the payoff. So the piece rate is here your reference point, which happens with 50% probability. If you expect the piece rate to be a reference point or to be a payment, then with probability one half, again, you will, or we will also receive the fixed uh, the, the piece rate as a payoff. With also 50% probability, you expected uh, when, exp when you expected the piece rate to be uh, paid out, you will get with 50% probability the fixed payment instead. Here we are in the case where the fixed payment is smaller than the piece rate, which means that this expression here is negative which means you suffer from getting the piece rate instead of your reference point, uh, which is given by the piece rate. Again, as this is negative, it has to be multiplied with eta times lambda, where lambda expresses how much more you suffer from losses than you benefit from gains. Here, the second line, we look at the case where the fixed payment is your reference point, which is the case with 50% probability. As you expect the payment to be a fixed payment with 50% probability. If you expected the payment to be the fixed payment with 50% probability, you will receive the piece rate. If you receive the piece rate, in this case, you are better off than expected because the piece rate is larger than the fixed payment and you will benefit from it uh, by a psychological payoff, which is weighed by eta. If you, on the other hand, expected the fixed payment and received the fixed payment, the realization is just equal to a reference point, and this is zero. Now we can, again, simplify the expression. It looks similar to the expression we had on the slide before, and again, we will look at the first order condition. We first derive, um, take the derivative of the utility with respect to the number of tables solved. And we end up with this derivative. Setting this derivative equal to zero, we get the first order condition and we can rearrange this expression to get here. Keep in mind that we are looking at the case where we are or have already solved so many tables that when getting the piece rate, we are better off than when getting the fixed payment. And what you can see here, if we look at the influence of the, the gain loss utility, the loss aversion, what you see is that the more loss averse I am, the lower is the effort I want to exert, which means more loss aversion I will implies that I will stop earlier. And so this is exactly the opposite of what we saw before. What we saw on the slide before was that as long as I get less payment, uh, smaller payment when I get the piece rate than the fixed payment, 
I want to increase my effort or loss aversion increases the effort I want to exert. Here, the opposite happens. As soon as I receive more money when I get paid the piece rate than the fixed payment, I will reduce my effort when the um, loss aversion uh, is, is increased. <laughs>